The idea for Ending the Eternal first came back when I was about 15 or 16 and uh, going to high school and I wrote it for a, a short story for a class project called Musings of an Ancient. We went through a very long process, a casting process. Um, we saw a lot of actors and a lot of actresses. We settled on Adam Wilson to play Samuel Gradius. He was the first person to apply, first person to audition, and he just wowed us with his with his audition. It was it was really good. Mary Dawson was a great Andrea. Originally, we had Spence audition for the role of Samuel, but as a joke, because we're good friends with him, we told him that Samuel's background is horribly German. What did I tell you about the talking? Hmm? That's the problem with you people. You can't follow a simple little instruction, just even a little one. You say march him to the fucking oven and you just stand there and go, no, we don't want to march him to the fucking oven. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that the steak isn't even wood? It's from fucking Ikea. It's a fake composite wood shite. It's sawdust and glue. <laughs> <laughs> it just hurts. Maybe it hurts this bad that Adolf hoofed me with those boots years ago. <laughs> it's the sign of the times, I guess. The German automobiles are getting bigger and faster, and you Americans are just falling behind, you know? We are just dying. Speaking of dying... <laughs> <laughs> now that he's dead... I'm going to have my way with you, Lady with the boobies. So, Spence ended up being Reggie. It was a long pre-production process. Uh, we went through a fair bit of uh, makeup, pre-makeup work. Uh, we had some really great people on this. What do you want to do with Jasmine's dead body? <laughs> I say we roll her up in the magic carpet and dump her at sea. <laughs> um, the actual production itself was three days, three long 12, 13 hour days, um, and we, which we pulled off something like 155, 160 shots. Put the camera down. Climbing, climbing up stairs and climbing back down, it's, it, it's, a, it's a really tough work. It's, and it, it, it taxes you artistically even. Where did you have to go inside yourself to find your like emotional oh, relationship with the stairs? Uh, action! There's, there's an exploratory spirit that's really going to make this into something different, man. Going pretty smooth so far. Personally, I'm always badass, so the gun wasn't much of an extension for me. The only thing that could make a fellow like me even remotely more badass is a firearm that's large and phallic, such as the one that I have. <laughs> and I enjoy running around with large phallic things in my hand. And I've got a really big fucking gun, yeah? And I'm gonna fucking kill somebody. I swear to God, if I don't find this fucking money anytime fucking boom! Jesus Christ, you made me drop water, you fucking cameraman, ass! You can see my extensive work. They're wearing masks. <laughs> <laughs> it's an exercise in futility. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bitch Boy. <laughs> nice to meet you. Um, I just like get told what to do and then I do it poorly. And then people yell at me. And that's it. Don't trust that stable ground. <laughs> We are going to be doing the outside stuff first before we finish off in the bedroom. Um, what, right now it's... <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like the actual room. Much different type of move. Yeah. <laughs> now I want the money shots big. <laughs> Huge even. Got a ground floor yet. Yeah. Smells like urine in here. No, it's just Derek. He always smells like that. He's got a thing with bathrooms. Doesn't like them. Never has. Oh, no, okay. I, I don't like toilets. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. boom, boom. Boom 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 like in a apparently in a cute screwed up way. If I do say so myself. And if anyone says says anything differently, then they're out to get me. You see this crimson tie, folks? This crimson tie is an homage to a very, very cool video game character who has a barcode on the back of his head. The truth is, the real reason I got into this business is not for creative capacities, it's not for demonstrative technique, it's because I like having my nipples rouged. It's like the way they ended Quantum Leap. Scott Bakula never knew when he was gonna leap. Al, why haven't I leaped yet? That's all I wanna know right now, why the fuck haven't I leaped? I'm really, really tired. 
action. We're here, the second morning of shooting. Fire it up. Um, we are not going to make it through my day two shot list entirely today. We're going to have to push some of it to day three, which is okay because I only had 18 shots planned for day three. Just effects. Just to punch that note, how many did you get yesterday? How many shots? Yeah. About 50. About 50 shots. Just, I just wanted that on the record, that he got 50 shots yesterday. By the time you see this, you will have seen it, so you'll have formed your own opinion, but I think it's going to be exceptional. You liked the movie. You liked the movie very much. Working with uh, Kevin Hutchinson again, um, always my co-producer and art director, very, very good at what he does. Uh, really brought Samuel and all of the effects to life, uh, him and, and the team he worked with. No, I could be everybody. You know, that's a good idea. You should turn this into a one-woman well, show. I said to Justin, I was like, I don't know why the hell it's not just, you just put me in front of the camera and let me do my thing, and then hey. just sell it. Well, yeah, I mean, really, this is probably the best footage we've had all weekend Well, so exactly, far. especially with what I'm wearing. So this is somebody's home when it's not being used for uh, gore movies. I have no dad. I was spawned from metal. Metal, that is! Yeah! That's my dad. Totally being the dick pretentious director when the hammer's on the air. No? I knew it. I totally knew it. A lot of people think that vampires don't really care about their personal grooming, but they hire people to do it for them. Style is important to everyone. Yeah. Well, if you get Kevin to go out, actually, let's get. Hi. Quick. Kevin. I'm a corpse. Shitting blood. Yeah, well, it kind of looks like um, the uterus a little bit. Then we have some splotches here, so it looks like there's a little bit of struggle going on. Ah. <laughs> you know what he's doing? What? He has no underwear on, so he's going like this. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Fake wood. Oak would have done the job. Ash would have done it brilliantly. You've ruined a great night's sleep, and I'd really like to get back to that. Tomorrow is when I get the shit kicked out of me. Oh, you know, I mean, it's just gonna be horrible death for me. Day two's over, bitches. Well, I get paid to uh, make people bloody and shoot them, you know. The hell of a job. It's all good, buddy. Beautiful, beautiful gore. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Happy Fun Hour. Today we'll be teaching you how to make craft and kill the innocent. Action! I feel like I just finished a bukkake shoot. I'm very sticky. This is a dream come true for me. Is it? I, I've known Spence, I think, three or four years now, and uh, it's been pretty much exactly what I've wanted to see happen to him. So, you do uh, want to <laughs> <laughs> This is the painstaking process of makeup. Why? 30 years ago, they wouldn't have had to do this sort of thing. We would have just got a body double and killed the fuck. <laughs> Nowadays, you've got unions. Pain in the ash, those unions are. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Fuck, that is so good. Action. Okay, sit up, sit up, sit up, sit up. Oh, 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 Bobby, what'd you do to my neck? I had an incident with some propane and some propane accessories and my neck got fucked up, Bobby. 
Help! Look at my neck, Bobby. Go get, go get Luann to cover this up. <laughs> and I love it. I fucking love it. Every cigarette I have is gold. Did I learn? Do you lie? Yes, yeah. I He's a he's this tortured soul who's just looking for a hot meal at a fair price. And we're gonna have to do makeup finals. Ooh. That happened. Yeah, exactly. Right. Sorry. Right here. Are you a proud father? I couldn't have done it without everybody on the set and just the entire atmosphere and environment. It was like a big 20 person family for three days working in, well, something a little hotter than hell, but very, very warm. Uh, I hired Rob Kleiner, the keyboard player from Tubbering, to do the score. Uh, I hired him on my previous feature documentary, Working Class Rockstar. He did an amazing score for that. And the final product is what you've just seen. And I hope you like it.